Now these are the tools that I'll be using, just an old electric drill, um, got a small drill bit in there, a level, a bit of mesh tape, Stanley knife, pencil, screwdriver, a couple of just scrap bits of wood, a spreader and a bit of filler and uh, that's all I'm going to use and hopefully we can do a good job with it. Now this is a rental property and uh, I've been asked to fill the hole in the wall as you can see it's a good size not only have we got one there but they thought it was a good idea to stick some wires down the bottom as well and <laughs> Yes, so I've got myself quite a task in front to repair both these holes and bring it back to pristine condition. Now the very first thing I'll be doing is working out what size to cut uh, with the plasterboard, which I have a spare one sitting over here, a bit of drywall. So we'll pop it up against the board here, I'll draw a bit of a rough pencil line on it and we'll cut it out. So I've got my pencil and away we go, so I think probably about to there, oh, maybe, maybe there, that'll go there, going across, don't need to go down a lot, probably about there at the most, so we just scribe a couple of lines and uh, away we go, so if I can just scribe down and across and uh, It's just an approximate shape, and I'll cut that out with a Stanley knife. So I'm not going to worry too much about being 100% accurate. Just slice it through here. And for those of you who are wondering what this is, this is getting thrown out, so I'm not worried about the condition of it. Just need a little rectangle, so I've cut out a small piece as you can see here. And uh, what we do next, we'll be trace the outside shape, trace this outside shape onto the walls. So my next task is just to simply position this over the, the hole and just simply draw around it. About that will do it. Again, I'm not that, not that fussed at this point. just the general shape that I'll be cutting and again we just use a Stanley knife and uh, pop it on here and away we go I think I'll go through that way I'll do it certain you've got a sharp knife of course it does make a difference
should start to come out, which it is. And I'll just shape it up a little bit. Of cut will fit. Okay, I need to come up. Okay, just need to trim a little bit off that. What we have to do with the pieces of uh, timber that I've got, we stick these in. I'll probably put it that way. I'll put a um, screw hole in on either side to hold that in place, which I'll do right now. I'll get my electric drill out, turn it on. does it this gives a little bit of support as a backing for your um, plasterboard now you could pretty well use anything you could even use uh, a bit of excess plasterboard if you've got it um, I don't have a power screwdriver so I'm afraid I have to do it the old-fashioned way let's get this started so it doesn't drop out on me Managed to scrounge up. <laughs> Make certain when you're putting them in that they're actually below the surface. It doesn't have to be terribly secure in there. All we're doing is using it as a backing board. Initially, we now get our bit of tape, and it's a special mesh tape. Use the old Stanley again, cut a length off. Gives it a little bit of extra adhesion to where the 
where the actual mix is going to go over the top. And the beauty of this stuff, when you go to sand it down later, you can sand straight through it so it's not, a, not an important thing to worry about. That's the last there. Okay. So at this stage all we have to do is uh, grab some filler and start spreading it. So we'll uh, get stuck into it now. Just wake a bit in, it doesn't matter how she goes in at this point. What we're interested in is the finished product. This is a bit of a small spatula at the moment. I've got a larger one here which I'll use. Here. are very roughly filled at the moment. I'm just going to let that uh, first layer of plaster set and then I'll put a skimming uh, layer over the top and sand it back. It takes about half an hour between coats. I'll be running a skimming coat over the top of this to uh, level it out a little bit. It's dried off uh, reasonably well. It's been sitting there for about half an hour and it will take at the moment. So just a very thin skimming coat over the top and uh, that'll do it for the day. over a little bit. Second spots down the bottom. Um, I'm going to have to let this completely cure uh, before I can come back and give it a bit of a sand so we'll do that in a couple of days time and uh, a couple of little spots I can see down the bottom that still need a bit of a touch up but I won't be worrying about it today it's just too soft and uh, we'll put the coat of paint on it and see how she comes up. Okay, I'm back again and uh, this is our little patch, it's uh, had a chance to dry. I've just grabbed a block of wood, a bit of sandpaper, wrap it around, I'm just going to give it a bit of a rub down. So I'll be sanding the top the bottom, when I'm finished we'll be running over with some paint and uh, hopefully getting a decent finish. So all that's left to do is paint. And this is this roller has the exact same paint it's uh, on the back here so it's not going to be an issue and uh, there you go I'll let that dry I'll check it uh, out a little bit later on and uh, hopefully that's the repair finished and uh, here we are that's the same wall paint has had a chance to dry and uh, as you can see looks perfect thanks for watching